Montreal has no shortage of unemployed musicians. And here at CGF Marionopolis, we're about to meet a room full of them. On top of never holding down a steady job, a lot of them have never been to bed much later than 9 p.m. because most of the performers we're about to meet range between the ages of 3 and 14. These are the students at Suzuki Academy NDG. Today, we're going to watch a rehearsal as they get ready for a huge recital at the Oscar Peterson Hall in the west side of the city in NDG. One, two, three, four. The Suzuki Method believes music, much like language, can be absorbed from a child's environment. The emphasis is to start children playing from a very young age, sometimes as early as two years old. How much do you practice every day? One hour. If my parents didn't force me to play a violin, I would be doing nothing all day. <laughs> That's a very honest answer. You're the tiniest guys in the whole thing. <laughs> you have a little box that you put your feet on when you sit in the chair. Yeah. Yeah. Two. You, well, yeah. I would imagine you too, because you're even smaller than he is. Yeah. You're the smallest one in the whole orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's funny? Those are pretty cool shoes. Thank you. I like your fashion. So how long have you been uh, learning the violin? Since I was five or six. Five or six, how old are you now? <laughs> 12, so like six years. It's so small that it looks like I'm a giant. Doesn't it look like I'm like, it looks like I'm huge, doesn't it? <laughs> Why did you want a violin for your birthday? I don't know. You don't know? Play me a little something. <laughs> Daphne, what do you think? He's pretty good. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm sitting here stewing in my envy for these kids' talent. But you know what Suzuki said about kids? He believed that every child has the potential for great achievement. The Suzuki method steers clear of musical aptitude tests, favoring instead frequent rehearsals and recitals to build both confidence and character. In short, it puts as much emphasis on children's development as on their musical skill. NDG is home to one of the finest teachers of the Suzuki method, Mr. Dragon Jerkic. You've said that it's not about the competition. Everybody can learn how to play instruments. And every child individually, they have their joy in playing. And that's all we care about. You encourage them to start performing publicly almost as soon as they start. Sometimes after one month, whatever they can play on open strings, the, 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 the simple thing, but put them on stage, I say, that's what we do. It's always amazing. In the beginning, building up to the concert season, the parents all go, OK, someone should go talk to him because they can't play Brandenburg or Haydn or something. And this is what he gives them. And it's extraordinary because he really does have the ability to bring the best out of the children that they don't even know they have. And then they sit on that concert stage, and then they pull out this masterpiece. And then they go home. And their friends say, oh, what were you doing? I said, well, I was on the Oscar Peterson stage. Right, no big deal. No big deal. Right? <laughs> there are many good orchestras and violin programs in Montreal. It's a music city. Yep. But rare do you see something that weaves it all together, and it's Dragon. Yeah, and he, he's the guy. He's like the Pied Piper. Dragon not only instructs his violin students, he also supports young composers like Leo Perch. At 13 years old, Leo has composed almost 100 pieces, although this is the first time he'll be hearing this particular piece before the big recital. You are the composer in residence for the Suzuki Academy NDG for Dragon School. Really uh, happy to have this opportunity. Uh, that uh, Dragon is letting me have. And actually, it's not an opportunity that many composers get, especially at my age. Tell me what the, how you present him with a new piece. Most of the time, he just says that he, he wants a piece, and I have quite a bit of leeway. In this particular piece, he said that he would like a piece which had some Quebec influence in it. Okay. So then I sort of took that idea and uh, did my own thing with it. That's Leo Piric. This is a living composer that we just got to meet and talk to. Is the Leo here? One, two.
Remember, 10.30 Sunday, we want everything to be just perfect. So you just saw them perform your piece. How do you feel? It's, it's a great performance. I mean, I'm really impressed with all these young kids. They play really well. It's exactly how I envisioned it. By the way, you were a very snappy dresser. I feel like we have like a... You too. It's like we have the same tailor or something. I, I like the vest and the jacket. Thank you very much. I feel like this is, uh, this is it. it. Same color scheme. Reminds me of someone I know. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you very much.